Hi everyone, thank you for joining me. My name is Cassandra and I'm gonna take you through this 15 minute gentle yoga practice for flexibility and stress relief. So this is a practice meant to be fairly simple. We're not gonna be doing anything overly strenuous or too complicated. So great for all levels, beginners are absolutely welcome. And there are no props required for this practice as well. So just make your way onto your mat and we're gonna start in a cross-legged seated position. So just sitting any way that works for your hips and for your lower back. We're trying to find a nice lift along the spine to roll our shoulders down and away from the ears with your chin parallel to the ground. And you can just close your eyes here. Beginning by taking some deep breaths in and out through your nose. Just checking in to see how you're feeling in this moment. If there's anything you need to be aware of in your body, or if you find that your mind is a bit overactive. Just being aware of what's happening without criticizing it or trying to fix it. We're just taking in information and at the same time trying to create space. And we'll add a little neck release here so you can drop your right ear down towards your right shoulder. And if you'd like, you can also bring your left hand behind your lower back. The further you reach that hand, the more you'll feel this towards the top of your shoulder. Or just let your head be heavy. Pressing your left shoulder down. And you can roll so that you have your chin pointing down towards your right shoulder, changing the sensation of the stretch. Take one more full belly breath and lift your head back up and through to center, release the arms. We'll just do the same thing to the other side. So you can drop your left ear towards your left shoulder and maybe reach your right hand towards your lower back, almost as if you were trying to wrap and hold on to your left hip. Push your right shoulder down. Let go of any tension in your jaw or in your facial muscles. Always trying to breathe in and out through our nose. And you can tuck your chin towards your left shoulder, stretching a little bit more towards the back of your neck. And let's lift our head back up and release the hands. You can roll your shoulders here, whatever feels good. And now staying seated, you're just going to bring your legs out in front of you and widen your feet wider than your hips. Flex your feet so you're just on your heels here and we're just going to do a little windshield wiper motion with the knees, dropping them from side to side. And the next time you drop your knees over to the left, hold it here and see if you can emphasize pushing your right hip down. So just stretching into that outer right hip. You might feel it a little bit more towards the inner thigh and the inner groin. Let's lift up and just go to the other side. This time, instead of lifting that left hip off the ground, think of pushing it back down. It won't touch the mat, which is fine, but we're trying to intend it there. Lifting all the way back up, go ahead and bring the soles of your feet together, knees fall apart, Baddha Konasana, your butterfly pose, sometimes also called cobbler's pose. You can hold on to your big toes with your two-piece fingers here and think of lifting and pulling up through your chest, squeeze your shoulder blades behind you and at the same time think of pushing and pressing your thighs down. It's a little bit of a tiny back bend here. 
take a big breath in through your nose and as you exhale start to fold forward and you can release the hold of your toes instead walk your hands out in front of you and just fold all the way down I'm letting my spine naturally round I'm making this very easy letting gravity do most of the work for me rather than pushing pulling and straining and just melt into the forward fold for three breaths here. Whatever was on your mind prior to stepping onto your mat, see if you can let it go for now and really focus on being with yourself in this present moment. If you notice your mind wandering, just come back to the flow of your breath or just focus on the sensations you feel in your body. Start to push your hands into the floor so you can curl back up inch by inch. No need to rush this. And we'll bend our knees in. I'm just gonna turn to the side. It'll make it easier for you to see what I'm doing. We're going to straighten our legs out in front of us. And all you're going to do is cross your right ankle over the top of your left knee and then bend your left knee as much as you would like. Use your hands behind you here to help support and lift your chest up. And the further you walk that left foot in, the more intensely you're going to feel this. And I like to just let my leg or rock my hips a little bit side to side. Just a gentle swaying motion. This is a seated variation of pigeon pose, targeting the outer hip into the glute. And slide that left leg straight once more, uncross the legs, and we'll do the same thing on the other side, left ankle over the top of your right knee, and bring that right foot in as is appropriate to you. Try not to round and slouch, Really use your arms for support, roll your shoulders back, lift up through your chest, and you can just sway or rock a little. You don't have to, staying still is wonderful as well. and straighten that right leg release and let's find tabletop pose on hands and knees so placing your palms under your shoulders and your knees under your hips we're really just coming here so we can transition into a low lunge so your right foot will step forward to the top of the mat so you can align your knee over your ankle and you might choose to just keep your fingertips down on the mat. If you'd like, you can also bring your palms over your thigh, adding a tiny little back bend here. So I'm focusing on melting my hips down and really stretching into my left thigh and left hip here. Make sure it's not hurting or pinching your lower back. If it is, just keep your palms down to the mat. So either option is really nice here. Relax your shoulders down. And get the inhale to be just as long as your exhale. And we'll all tuck the back toes under so we can lift the back knee off the mat. And we're gonna step the left foot to the top of the mat for a forward fold, Uttanasana. You can widen your feet towards the edges of the mat. Feel free to bend your knees as much as you want here. More of a ragdoll variation. You can hold on to your upper arms, just dangling as you sway side to side. Make sure your weight is evenly distributed between both feet. And that you're not leaning on your heels more or on the balls of your feet. Try to find that center point of gravity. Let your head be even heavier like a bowling ball. Release your fingertips down to the mat. You can bend your knees a little bit more and just bring your feet hip width distance apart again. Right away, we'll go into our low lunge on the other side. So step your right foot all the way back and drop your right knee down to the mat. 
So my left knee is on top of my ankle and maybe I'm staying here with my hands down or maybe I'm bringing my palms towards the knee or towards the thigh, adding a little bit of a back bend. But the priority here is to be super mindful of how this feels in your lower back. We're not trying to create more tension, we're trying to release it. So know when it's appropriate for you to ease off and back off a little. There's really nothing to prove. And we'll curl the back toes under, lift your back knee off the mat. Instead of stepping to the top of the mat, we're gonna step into downward dog. So your left foot will step to the back of the mat. Your hands are shoulder width distance apart. Your feet are about hip width distance apart or so. And you can absolutely bend your knees as you reach your chest towards your thighs. Any little movements that feel good here. Try to get a full body stretch in this pose. As you curl your tailbone up and draw your lower belly in. Big breath. And let's bring our knees to the mat and just lower down onto your belly. Sphinx pose. Come onto your forearms, palms flat to the floor, and lift up through your chest. Roll your shoulders back. Lightly pushing each toe into the floor. And same thing here, I'm pushing my pubic bone into the mat and I'm lengthening my tailbone towards my heels so that I'm not creating any tension in my lower back. I want to concentrate this on my mid and upper back. One more deep breath. And let's find child's pose. You're gonna press back, big toes together, knees go as wide as you would like them to be. The wider they are, the deeper you will feel this, the more of a stretch it will be. And as you press your hips back, you can walk your hands out in front of you and fold on down. Five breaths here. To really ground yourself to check in. Let gravity pull you a little bit deeper into the stretch. <sighs> And let's walk our hands in so you can lift up. Instead of finishing in Shavasana, we're gonna take a seat the same way we were at the beginning of class. And we'll do just a little bit of pranayama, a breathing technique. So we'll do box breathing, sama vritti pranayama. Sama meaning equal, vritti meaning mental fluctuations. So this box breathing is an equalizing breath meant to reduce the mental chatter. So wonderful for stress relief and it's very simple. Imagine you're breathing in a box where you inhale for a count of four, you hold your breath for a count of four, you exhale for a count of four, and you hold the breath out for a count of four. We're gonna do that five times. So whenever you're ready, all in and out through the nose, sit up tall, inhale one, two, three, four, hold, one, two, three, four, exhale, one, two, three, four, hold, one, two, three, four, keep going.
Last round. And come back to a regular breath rhythm. Join your palms together at the front of your heart. And we'll be closing our practice by chanting OM one time. Let's inhale to chant, breathe in. Thank you so very much for doing this short, gentle practice with me. I hope you feel better physically as well as mentally. Please let me know how this class went for you. Do subscribe and hopefully I'll be practicing again with you very soon.